Hi guys and welcome to this tutorial for the Sigma WordPress theme where I'm going to show you how to create some amazing animated SVG icons for your theme. Now the Sigma theme is, is, is one of a kind, there's no other theme out there that offers this kind of flexibility to generate your own animated SVGs. I mean if I just go back to the landing page here which is the first page that you guys will see when you load the theme or you're previewing the demo um, you'll see a, a fancy SVG animation into the slideshow there which is again is unique and then if we scroll down here you'll start to see the animated icons drawing themselves in there with the animated SVG so I'm going to show you guys how to create these there's going to be a few tutorials on the animated SVGs as they get a little bit more complex but to start you out we're going to show you how to create these icons to give more interest for your customers when the page is loading and to direct people to the main features of your, your business and the services that you offer. So if I go back to the default home page that we have here, so you see a fancy SVG animation there with the text as well. But if I scroll down the page here, the icons are coming in there. But if I keep going down the page, what I've actually done is I've left a few icons for me to complete over here on the right hand side and you saw those draw in there so the first thing that we need to do is we need to get the actual SVG um, vector art the icons now in the package that you download from theme forest <coughs> pardon me you'll have uh, in there you'll have um, a resources folder and we've actually supplied uh, some uh, SVG icons that are on the Creative Commons license and we've given um, the credit to the guy that created these so it's uh, you know very thankful for him for, for letting us to use it it's the linear free icon set uh, developed by Dario Ferrando so we're using that um, but he doesn't endorse our, our product as such but you know it's a free download and we're using it with uh, the Sigma theme so the first thing that we want to do here is I'm going to change the visual page builder icon so what I want to do is I want to find an icon that relates to the topic that I'm talking about now I've already chosen one here so in the resources folder linear complete one click on basic and then if I go into SVG and scroll that see so got all the different ones in here um, but if I go down here this is the one that I want to choose so if I just change the view here you can see that it's, it's kind of a web page icon so I'm going to open this uh, graphic up in my vector program now I'm using Adobe Illustrator CC which is the latest version of Adobe Illustrator but if you guys are buying this theme and you haven't got access to Adobe Illustrator which you know is a, a, a sizable purchase you can actually get free vector art software so if you if you actually type in Inkscape it's one of the free uh, pieces of software out there to, that helps you to draw vector artwork so you can open up SVGs in there you can export SVGs uh, so again you'll have to a little bit a little bit of a learning curve with Inkscape if, you, if that's the one that you use but you don't have to spend lots of money to be able to create a theme using the Sigma uh, framework and the graphics that we supply so again I'm using Adobe Illustrator here now within the package that we've supplied you'll see here that there's a resources folder so then within the resources folder we've got SVG tutorials and icons and then we've actually created a template in there for the uh, icons template so and then we've got in here all the um, linear free icon set that we're, that we're using as part of the Sigma theme so within here then if I open up this illustrator file so if we go down here so again you might be using the free software at that point so you'll see here we've got an icon already placed within the, the, the setup uh, within the document setup and what we want to do is we want to create let's close that one because we don't need that one uh, we want to use this icon here so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select that I'm going to copy it and then I'm going to paste this directly into the template so that we're using the same template there so I'm just going to move that off to the side uh, and then if we paste that in there and then we resize this down here and just get it in the correct position so centered within the actual artwork uh, size of, of the SVG and I'm going to select all of this artwork here and I want to make the actual stroke match 
this one here because this is for the style of my theme of the Sigma theme and what we're setting up here so I can get rid of this one now now if we go back to the browser for one second you'll see here that these are white icons and the ones above obviously are in the blue but it's a white one that we want to create so what I'm going to do is I'm going to select all the uh, strokes and I'm going to change them to white so I'm going to change it to a white stroke so we've got we've got that there in the template so now what we need to do is we need to save as so we're going to save as sorry I'll do that from the menu file save as and we want it in an SVG format now we can save that to the desktop we can we can rename it to um, icon test if I call it that for now but we don't actually need this file so if we click save what we do need is we want to get the SVG code. So if I just click more options, yeah, we just, that's fine. So we want to click SVG code. So you'll see here we actually get the code. Now once we've got this code open here, we can close that. And we don't actually need the template open anymore. So we can close that. We don't need to save it. And we don't need that either. So we've got this SVG code here, which has been generated from the icon that we set up now. To be able to animate these SVG icons within the resources uh, sorry within the plugins folder you have a folder called enliven them enliven them is included in the sigma theme you don't have to purchase this separately as we've bought it on an extended license and included it in the sigma theme but for this purpose obviously i'm going to use their piece of software to uh animate our icon and install it into the sigma theme so on the enliven them folder if i click on animator and then if we just open this up in chrome so there we go we get this editor here and a new tab so it's the source code that we're going to put in here so if i go to the text edit again and I'm, all we need to do is we just need to get the start of the svg so we don't need any of this metadata at the top of here we just need to get the svg code so we click on that select that copy that and then we're going to paste that in there so we've pasted that in click proceed so you can see here it's showing us the box around the icon size that we've set but because we've set the stroke to white we can't obviously see that at the moment so we'll, we'll address that in a second now there are detailed tutorials on how to use the enliven them animator on the enliven them website and we give reference to that in the documentation so you can get a, a more in-depth view of how to use this piece of software but for the purpose that i'm showing this tutorial i'm going to jump right in there so we don't want this to be, res be responsive at this point because it's only an icon we don't need it to respond to, to different um, screen sizes viewport shift i'm going to set that to one half so basically that means that as soon as half of this artwork size here is shown in the browser it will start the animation and then and that's all we need there at that point so we don't want to loop it we don't want to delay it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click on the rectangle so if i click on that rectangle there i'm going to set this to draw lines so we're going to draw those lines we don't want to delay on it but we're going to say we want it to take 2000 so that's two seconds basically so if i know so i'm selected on that on that on that piece of vector if i click the play button you'll see that it draws the rectangle now i want to thicken up that border so I play it again you'll see we get a thicker line so I'm gonna, now i've got that set there i'm going to apply that to all of the other individual um, pieces of vector there so i'm going to click on draw lines and you'll see that it actually keeps the same color and the settings that we had for the others so if we then click the red button here it does a global animation to show you what it's all going to look like so we know that's fine there so if i now go draw lines on every one of these i mean obviously you can stagger these individually and, and, and start creating some amazing svg graphics with the enliven them uh plugin if i now play that you'll see the whole thing animates in and then goes back to white because white is the color that we set it in the illustrator file in the in the original svg so what we want to do is we actually want so the reason i've left it as blue for now is just to show you guys how it animates but what i want it to do is i want it to draw in white so again i'm just going to go back here and i'm going to change all of these to white so that we get our final svg two seconds here so 
Oh, there we go. We've got everything in white. So if I click that now, we're not going to see anything because it's drawing in white and it finishes in white. But we know we've got the type of animation that we're looking for. So all we do then is click on the result page. And what that does, it, it spits out the code with all the animation on it. So all I'm going to do now is I'm going to select all that text, copy it, and then I'm going to go back to text edit. If you're on a PC, you might be using Notepad. Uh, and I'm going to create a new blank text document, plain text, and I'm going to paste that code in there. And then all I do is click. I'll just get rid of all those. Yeah, that's it. So then all I do is go uh, and save that file. And I'm going to call it, um, what do we call it? We'll call it page builder icon animated. So I just set that so I know exactly what it is. And I always tend to put animated at the end so I know it's an animated SVG. Now all we need to do is make sure that we have the SVG uh, file format set there. So I'm saving to my desktop at the moment. So if I just save that, use SVG. So I can close that down. So on my desktop here, you can see now we have the SVG file. So we don't need this text file open from the original SV, uh, original um, Illustrator file. So what we need to do now is obviously log into our WordPress theme. And we shall, I'm just going to new tab open there and put that next to it. And then what we'll do is we'll edit this icon here and just show you how that's working with the uh, with the icons. So if I click login now, hopefully it's set. So I'll close that down now and then I'm just going to reload this page. And then I'm going to edit the page in a new tab. Just wait for everything to load there. So again, I'm going to scroll down here and we can see the icons that I want to edit here. So the visual page builder. So in the page options at the back end of the website in WordPress, I'm just going to scroll down here. So we just need to find the row that I am going to be working on. It's this one here. So if I click on, so what, there's several visual composer elements that we can use to create animated SVGs and put them in there, but for this tutorial and the icons, we're just using what's called CMS Single Fancy Box, uh, which is this here, which gives you the ability. So I'll just show you on the short codes actually. So we've got, um, I can't see it, there it is, icon boxes, sorry. If I just go to the icon boxes page, you can see here that we have the different variations of icon boxes that you can put animated SVGs into these um, and put them as, as visual elements on your pages. So again, if I go back to the home page and then we'll scroll back down so we know where we're editing. So there we go, visual page builder. So in the single CMS fancy box, I'm going to edit that there. And then all we do, fancy icon settings. So you can see we've got the old one here that, that I've put in there just for the demo content. So I'm going to get rid of that image item. So we're going to upload the new one. Let's drag that on there. So we're going to set that image. Now the only setting that you need to check is turned on is on the template tab. So if we go to template and you scroll down here, you just need to make sure that SVG animation is turned on. And then that adds the extra class to the code which calls in the script to create the animation. So if I now save that, and what I'll do is I'll update my page, and we shall then, we'll go back to the top of this page here, and we'll get it to reload. And then we'll scroll down and see the animation come in. So we've got the page loaded. So if I scroll down now, you see all the different elements coming in there. And if we watch this bit here, you can see we've got our new icon there. So it really is that easy. I mean, I'll, again, there's going to be a lot more tutorials to show you how to do this. The next tutorial will be a little bit more in depth for a, a different type of uh, SVG animation. But uh, if you have any questions or need any support on creating these files, please refer to the documentation on our forums. But uh, yeah, get in touch with us and we'll, we'll be delighted to help you. So thank you very much.